guys welcome back to my channel if you do not know who i am hi my name is berry and it's your first time stopping by nice to meet you but please don't make your last by subscribing to my channel and if you're a subscriber hey i love you i see you thank you so much so i'm looking mad like this because today we're going to do bantu notes I already parted my hair off camera, I already oiled it, I already prepared my hair for the hairstyle. But for your bantu notes, the things you're going to need, you're going to need your hair extension, you're going to need your rubber bands, your oiled rubber bands, you're going to need your braiding gel, your supporting gel, whatever gel you have, you're going to need your crochet, you're going to need, in fact, everything that is going to help you to achieve this hairstyle. By the way, if you hear noises in my background, my family members are around for sure. <laughs> so that's why I'm filming in my room. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing how I transform this beautiful face and this beautiful hair, keep watching. I might do a voiceover. I don't know, probably. But yeah, let's just get into the video and stop rambling. <laughs> guys i wasn't too sure about the voiceover so let me just explain to you how i did part my hair because my hair is already parted off camera and i could not show you that because of technical difficulties but let me explain so i have 10 bantu parts on my hair right now and if you want to see they are parted in triangular patterns i don't know if you guys can see but like i decided to style my bantu knots in triangle patterns all the way back i don't know if it's focused enough but like behind here i just did like two at the back here and then three in the middle one two three of which all of them have been parted triangle triangularly yes so yeah i don't know if you guys have seen that but yeah so what i did to part my hair i just did like i did three main parts the back of my head the middle of my head and the front hair by parting from ear to ear through the back and parting from ear to ear through the top so the back the middle and the front i don't know if that's detailed enough but when i'm going to succeed to arrange these technical difficulties i'm going to definitely explain how i found my hair in a single video okay yeah guys okay we're on the voiceover part right now and i'm just going to explain to you guys what i actually do to my hair to create the bantu notes so using the front part of my hair starting with the front part of my hair we're going to just pick out that small piece and just put it aside why i did that was because i just want to you know add some niceness to my bantu notes because i don't just want the bantu notes to be plain so i remove that part so i can put just single braids there but for my big o parts for the bantu knot you want to make sure that your parts are very big because the bantu knot kind of reduces your hair if that makes sense so i just put my braiding gel and i'm just coming through the hair so i'm going to use a rubber band to tie my hair down yeah so that i can you know have a suitable part for my bantu knot a suitable foundation and mind you you don't want that too tight okay you don't want to tie your brain please you must not you know tie your brain to be able to make the part to shine if the part is going to be shining is because your hair is clean and because you actually have parted well not because you have tied it too tight okay and then from there i'm just going to braid my hair in a single strand and i did that for all of my hair and you can see my hair is not tightly tied but my hair is going somewhere do you guys get what i mean exactly like i'm just giving my hair some you know loose ties because the bantu knot actually hurts especially when you wrap the bantu knot around like you see me do so how i prep my extension is i take a small part of the extension and a bigger part so that the small part can be joined together to make the third extension i'm doing braids actually as you can see can see and i'm just you know braiding alongside the my hair that was already pre-braided oh my hair looks so healthy 
guys i'm under the weather i'm so sorry my voice is deep um, i don't know with the flu and the rain yada yada i'm i'm really not myself so guys bear with me but like this is one week post my hairstyle and my hairstyle is seriously amazing and as you can see my braids don't have to be very beautiful or very straight because nobody has time to see that all what you guys want to see is a bunch of notes so i'm just going to braid anyhow and then wrap around like you see me do and then you know just create a wrap or just create a knot by wrapping around that um hair extension very important key lesson you want to pre-stretch this braiding hair before attaching it to your hair because it's those thin ends that actually help you secure your bantu knots so you should not do your bantu knots with hair that the ends are still sharp you want to pre-stretch that because that is going to really help you secure or really tie those thin ends are very important like you see I'm actually securing my knots very well and it's not going to move like it is not going to move but because I am madam extra security I go in with an additional rubber band and you know just tie on top of it so the hair doesn't unravel in my sleep or when I'm wearing my hair bonnet or in public actually so I just try to secure that with the rubber band as opposed to a bobby pin because most times bobby pins do get rusted in your hair i don't know if i'm the only one experiencing that but like me a bobby pins no we are not friends i so prefer oiled rubber bands oiled rubber bands i'm insisting on the oil because you don't want the dry rubber bands to rip off your hair or to cut your hair anyway so yeah and this is pretty pretty repetitive because i'm just doing that for like all of the parts that i created just you know braid kind of carelessly and then wrap and then use your thin ends of the hair to secure the edges and yeah pretty much that's it is very much self-explanation and guys bantu knots are so 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 easy i really thank the person who invented this kudos to you whoever ancestor invented this in africa but yeah like that's really nice and guys do you remember that previous part we left aside at the beginning because we wanted to add some oomph to our hair yeah like i said i wanted to do braids by the side and regular braids for me is just you know dividing your hair into three strands and yeah just attaching it to your original hair by creating three strands to on your original hair and yeah just braiding and mind you my braid is not too tight because guys i insist on protecting your front hair your you know your baby hair area you don't want to play with that you don't want it too tight because you don't want to lose all of your front hair so yeah pretty much that's what i did and it looks so freaking amazing and i did not have to tight my hair to be able to you know look beautiful and guys this is like two weeks away from me doing this hairstyle and the amount of stairs that i've had the amount of compliments oh my god this is like the highest hairstyle i've ever done in my life that i've gotten a lot a lot of compliments on no cap that's the more reason why i should do the hairstyle i'm teaching you because i want to see you guys do it to try it too because it's fun and yeah as you have seen me do i just decorated my hair with beads and i tied the ends for extra security so that the beads will not be able to you know fall out especially like when you're sleeping beads are so fond of falling out so i like to double tie just to ensure that the beads are not moving and then i'm going to cut out that excess parts and burn the hair my reason for burning the hair traditionally is so that you know the plastic extension just seals together and that that she was hot it actually burnt me and then yeah this is the finished look i'm just you know putting mousse to my hair because i can't use hot water guys it's not all hairstyles or that you need hot water basically 
I just went off camera to accessorize my hair and yeah like I use curries and rings and my gosh this hair is so beautiful I've been feeling myself and all of that and guys if you have watched up to this extent I love you guys we have come to the end of this tutorial mama tell me I'm shocked to what I have done I feel so good I don't know I don't know there's just something I was so skeptical about it but um, this is the final result so if you enjoyed this video as much as i did please make sure to like share and subscribe please tell people to come and subscribe to my channel by sharing i know that you enjoyed this tutorial even if it was all over the place i'm sorry <laughs> but anyway uh if i'm not here you could follow me on ig as well berry beauty 22 and berry g and i'm also on facebook so just do a check out my accounts and yeah feel myself yo yo <laughs> and with that being said never ever ever forget to keep smiling and keep beautiful and i'm going to see you in my next video bye guys i love you